QIT, Quebec Iron and Titanium, employs some 1,700 people at its two sites along the St. Lawrence River in northeastern Canada. I've been with QIT for 21 years. What impresses me most is the way the people are engaged in making a success out of QIT. The titanium and iron bearing ore body is called ilmenite and QIT's TO mine is excavating the world's largest rock ilmenite deposit. Each day 18,000 tons of ore are loaded onto the mine's 100 ton trucks. Dans mon travail, qu'est-ce que j'aime le plus c'est de chauffer mon truck. Ça j'adore chauffer. J'ai toujours rêvé de chauffer des grosses machineries puis mon rêve se réalise. The mine can't be reached by road. Once the ore is crushed, it leaves, like the mine workers, on the train. The journey through the mountains takes them to the port facility of Arve Saint-Pierre, located within the Mingan Archipelago National Park. As you can see, we are loading a, a ship with ilmenite inside the national park. The national park is a very important place for the population and for the Canadian government. This place is one of the best places in the world to fish uh, crab, lobster and scallop. We have put in place an emergency team of 50 people to be able to react quickly if ever a hydrocarbon spill occurred. The ore is shipped downstream to the company's metallurgical complex at Sorrel Tracy. The ilmenite is fed into electric furnaces from which the metallic iron and titanium slag are separately tapped. The process involves a reduction step to remove oxygen. The reduction is actually made through the use of anthracite and so the oxygen is combined with the carbon to generate a fuel which we actually recuperate, clean up and recycle through the rest of the plant as a fuel. So that's a way for us to reduce our greenhouse gas instead of buying external fuel. QIT has always had a reputation for technical innovation but in recent years the company has also put more emphasis on other aspects of its business. The management of the company at all levels uh, is taking today's safety more seriously. We used to have 25 last time incidents per month. We are now at about an average of one per month. So you have to get to a point where the worker is doing the safety for himself. That's the last phase where we're going to be able to go less than one down to zero. Nowhere among all Rio Tinto's industrial operations is the local community so close. The community can say that we are in their backyard and we can say the community is in our backyard. That's as close as it, it can be. So noise is an issue for us and uh, dust is an issue as well. And uh, if you look in the last 20 years or so, we have invested close to $200 million in all kind of uh, projects to improve the environment. The QIT plant is close to the Lac Saint-Pierre archipelago, a wetland habitat and home to 288 bird species and 79 species of fish. This area has been designated a UNESCO World Biosphere Site. One of the main reasons behind this designation is the viable cohabitation between an industrial complex and a unique natural habitat. QIT has been a long time taxed by a polluer very severe for the region. Aujourd'hui, cette compagnie-là a fait un virage totalement vers le développement durable et elle est devenue un exemple au lac Saint-Pierre de prise en charge pour la protection du milieu. People work hard, making sure that QIT is viable, long-term, sustainable for the future.